Hey hey hey, what's up guys? I finally decided to make another video on Tenet, and this will be the first video of a new series, Tenet 101. Today, I will try to answer the commonly asked question, does free will exist in the world of Tenet? I know that new videos on a movie released 9 months ago probably won't get too many views, but f*** the view numbers. For those of you who love Nolan, enjoy Tenet, and like my previous videos, this one is for you. Let's go! First, let's take a look at two paradoxes, and this is the first one. Let's say uh, Universal Studio has a new ride called Tenet, and we all know what it does. And I am on my way to try it out. Do -do 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 -do. Hmm, what is that? Is that a dead body? Oh my god, it is. Ew, what an awful way to die. This guy must did something really really bad, and God made him die this way to punish him. Oh right, let me take a selfie with it and post it on Facebook. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna stop right here. And here's the question. Do I have the free will to just walk away? I know that I will get killed after I get inverted by going through the turnstile. So of course I will never go through the turnstile. But if I just walked away, then where did that inverted version of me come from? Now let's take a look at the second paradox. I am on a vacation, and I am flirting with the woman I just met. Ho 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 ho, what can I say? I think I'm the most well-mannered, the most gentleman-like gentleman you will ever meet. That's what I like about you. I really can't stand men without good manner. Oh look, that inverted guy, is that you? Well, apparently. I think he wants to say hi to you too. <laughs> I gotta go. All right, all right. I know committing suicide is bad, and I don't recommend it to anyone. But you see, I am heartbroken. I don't want to live no more, so I jumped off the Tower of Pisa. And here's the paradox. Do I really have the free will to jump off the Tower of Pisa? If I do, will I die? Common sense tell me I will die. But if I died there, where did that inverted version of me come from? The fact that I will get inverted in the future means that I will not die until then. So I am practically immortal. But that can be true. Tenet is a sci-fi, not a fairy tale. So something must be wrong here. To solve those two paradoxes, we need to understand how Tenet affects our past and future. First, let's see what happens in real life. This simple diagram shows the normal timeline in normal world we'll live in. It. I am at the current moment, or now. Before me is my future. Behind me is my past. My future hasn't happened yet. There's countless possibilities, and I have the free will to do whatever I want. On the other hand, whatever happened in my past has already happened. There's nothing I can do to change it. The god of time has placed a lock on my past. In fact, every living and unliving thing that existed in my past are locked. Or well, let me put it this way. Any timeline that overlaps with anyone's past will become part of that past and is thus locked. Alright, we just talked about real life. Now let's see if past and future work the same way in the world of Tenet. Okay, this is me at the bottom. I am uninverted. And again, my future lies in front of me and my past lies behind. This is you at the top. You are inverted and in your own perspective. Your future also lies in front of you and your past is left behind. The past for both of us are locked. I think we can all agree on that. Now here's the fun part. Your future overlaps with my past. And we know that any timeline that overlaps with my past becomes part of my past and is thus locked. Same goes for my future. It is also locked as it overlaps with your past. Therefore, in the world of Tenet, everything is locked. There's no future. There's only past. And when future becomes past, whatever is going to happen becomes inevitable. Because, technically speaking, it already happened. Therefore, 
real free will does not exist in the world of Tenet. But don't worry, it's not like that we all have strings attached to our body and someone is playing us like puppets. The tricky part is, although there's no real free will in the world of Tenet, in our own perspective, we still feel like we have free will. Allow me to explain. Let's say, uh, on my way back home from work, I saw two squirrels mating and I feel so horny. So I decided I am going to touch myself tonight. And here's the critical question. Do I use my right hand as always or use my left hand this time for a change? I don't know yet because that is my future and it hasn't happened yet. But I do have the free will to choose whichever hand I want. At least that's how I feel. But for you who's inferred it, what I am about to do to myself already happened in your past. It turns out that you've been watching me touching myself that night and you know I use both hands. You see, in the world of Tenet, the fact that there's no free will does not really affect me. Because free will is just a subjective feeling, a false one actually, that I have control over actions or things that haven't happened yet. Okay, let's sum it up. Everything in the world of Tenet is determined because it already happened, and free will is just a subjective false feeling. But uh, does this have anything to do with the two paradoxes we saw earlier? Yes it does. You see, what we've learned so far provided us the correct answer to one question. The question is, if we know things in future as a fact, are we able to do something to change it? This question pretty much described those two paradoxes we saw earlier. In the first paradox, we saw there's inverted version of me, so we know, as a fact, that in the future, I will go through the turnstile. And the question is, can I just walk away from the turnstile? In the second paradox, we have the same fact, which is I will go through the turnstile in the future. And the question is, can I kill myself before I go through that turnstile? And the correct answer to this type of question is, <clears throat> no we can't. In the world of Tenet, the future is the past. It already happened. There's nothing we can do to change it. Now we may just have some clue to solve the paradoxes. In the first paradox, for example, my future is that I will go through the turnstile. In my perspective, it hasn't happened yet, but in reality, it already happened. That is a fact, and that is all we need to know. What we need to do now is using our imagination to come up with explanations that lead to the fact. As long as these explanations are logical and don't violate the law of physics. Let's try it. We know as a fact that I will go through the turnstile. But why would I do that? Maybe on my way to the turnstile, I actually didn't see the car accident. Or I saw the car accident, but I didn't realize it was me who got killed. These are two logical explanations. And if I did see the car accident and realized that it was me who got killed, then I must be a true believer of Tenet, just like Neil. I know whatever happened, happened. There's no running away from it. So I chose to go through that turnstile to embrace my destiny. Same goes for the second paradox. I either didn't see that inverted guy or didn't realize that he is an inverted version of me. And if I did see and know he's me, then I simply won't do anything that could take my own life. I might have climbed to the top of the Tower of Pisa, but I won't jump off. Remember, in Tenet, future is past. So asking if I can kill myself before I go through that turnstile is basically the same thing as asking if I can kill myself yesterday. Of course I can't, because yesterday already happened and I didn't kill myself yesterday. Alright, that's it for today's video, hope you enjoyed it. And believe it or not, I know as a fact that after watching this video, you are going to touch yourself tonight. And I also know which hand you will be using, because I've already seen it while I was inverted. See you next time.